Hey guys, I am Nikki of Nikki and Eric, and today we are gonna show you a bit more of an affordable option here in Nashville of what $200,000 can buy you. The last video we did of this was a $500,000 house tour, and that was in downtown Nashville. We're a little bit further out now. We're still in Nashville, but maybe just a little, a few miles from downtown. And this is actually a duplex. So what that means is there are two houses that are stuck together and we purchased it as one house and then we split them off and we're selling them individually. So as you can see, this is not fully done yet. We're about a week or so away. There's a few little things that we still need to fix above the door, there's paint cans. You'll see in the house that there's some appliances not delivered, but we're very, very close to the finish line. So we're gonna go through this and show you room by room what we did in here and what $200,000 can buy you in Nashville. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and smash the like button, give us a follow, and we promise to bring you more good content. of our flips so we have like three color packages we really like to do and this is my favorite this is alabaster we do black trim which is triform black by sherwin williams and a pink door i love it and it is sachet sand by sherwin williams come on much smaller than our last one. This one is 200,000. And right here, this is your main living area. This is the living room. You'll see we replace the floors. You have new trim. It's also important to mention this is a rehab. This is not new construction. We work with the footprint that this house had. So we kind of work with what, you know, the Lord gave us here. So we painted it, new trim, new ceiling, new light fixtures, electrical, plumbing, all that stuff was fixed in here. We do have new windows ordered. If you are involved at all in construction or flipping or buying anything, uh, you know, in 2021, everything is completely and utterly back ordered. So windows will be the very last thing that they are gonna get fixed and replaced next week. This house is about 700 square feet or so. You do have two good sized bedrooms, a cute little bathroom and closets, and you even have an eat-in space. And in here, we have the kitchen and the dining space. So what I would picture right here is a little circle table with a rug under it. Just make it really cute and, and conversational, if you will. And then our kitchen. This is where our stove will go and we will have a microwave on top of here. Our sink, of course. And then our fridge will be right here. So you'll have a complete kitchen. You know, we always do things a little bit nicer than the next person. So we do have a quartz countertop with nice white, clean looking cabinets and pretty hardware. Now, normally we'll do black and we went with a chrome and a satin nickel in here just to be different. I like it, it worked. And if you look at these floors, these floors were so good. I love them. They are very, very pretty. This is a LVP, which is a uh, luxury vinyl plank. It's actually very durable and it holds up pretty well. You can do it in a wet space or a dry space. And here we have bedroom number one. And as always, I'm a practical type of girl. We have our fan. You have your closet in here. And also with a tighter space, you do have to find a place to keep the, uh, the functional guts of the house, essentially. You just kind of got to work with the space you have. So this is a closet that does have pretty good space. It goes back this way as well, but it is also our storage for the water heater. <laughs> a smaller house to work with you're not going to have most times you're not going to have a designated laundry room but you are going to have like in here a little laundry closet so there uh, of course this is an empty house tour so there's no washer and dryer now but it would 
go in here. And this is very conveniently located to your bedroom one and bedroom two and the bathroom. Spoiler alert, bathroom is this way. But right now, we're gonna be in our second bedroom. And this one is, as you can see, just like the other ones, pretty good size. And we have the fan in here. And again, we have a nice closet. <laughs> closet in here and we try not to let people hide in them but sometimes it happens but this one does not is not interrupted by the water heater so you have a full closet also something else we do that's just a little bit nicer than the next person is we always do a bit of a bigger piece of trim on the bottom your baseboard i think it makes the place look nicer a little fancier and it really doesn't cost that much more let's continue on to the bathroom now bathrooms where I shine. I love it. I love doing something so simple and putting it together and it just, it pops. Again, we're not 100% complete in here, but you can see we use the very, very basic, simple white subway tile. We did a medium grout and we just bricked it. We laid it in a very ordinary way, but it really looks good. When you are trying to do a bathroom project, a tub is always cheaper than doing a stand-up shower. So we have the tub, and then we have our nice chrome fixtures that kind of go everywhere. And the cool hexagon floor. I love it. It ties it all in. The grout kind of works with the, the chrome colors and the gray on the wall. Also, these, this gray is called Repost Gray from Sherwin-Williams. It's a very, very good go-to color. <music> So one of the best areas of the house, in my opinion, is the backyard. You're pretty spacious out here. It's pretty wide open. We do have this side yard that's not fenced in, but we always try to fence in a backyard. I'm a dog person. I think it's important to have a fenced in backyard. So come on back here, check it out. So you do have the six foot privacy fence and we always, for the exact same price, run our boards horizontally versus vertically. I just think it makes a really cool impact on a space. And also it keeps your HVAC unit secure in the backyard so no one can come steal it. So guys, this is what $200,000 can buy you in Nashville. It really is cool. This house is gonna be wonderful. It's been a fun, fun project and we're gonna bring you back once it's all the way complete and staged so you can really get a feel for how the furniture would lay out in here and how it really is gonna look for the homeowner. As always, subscribe to our channel and follow along. We'll take you on many, many, many more empty house tours. Also, I have a pro tip for you. Do not go get braces the day before you're going to be recording a YouTube video. I just so hard to talk. Because <laughs> your mouth will hurt. Oh,